Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Lega here representing Team JVS. I am back here again for another movie review. The name of this movie is called Deliver Us From Evil. This was directed by Wan Chan Hung, and this is the brief synopsis. An assassin goes to Thailand in order to solve a kidnapping case linked to him and finds himself chased by a man whose sibling he killed. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, off gate, this was freaking amazing. I actually really enjoyed this for so many different reasons. Um, but I'm going to go through the cast really quick and uh, kind of just break down some of the amazing things that they were able to do with this that I was so surprised by, to be honest with you. So uh, Zhang Ming Wang uh, plays the role of the main title character who has kind of the upper hand right now uh, in this specific picture. And then uh, John J. Lee is the person that has the machete. Now, both of these men are good at what they do. But, I mean, I think this shot encapsulates who they really are. Um, because um, Jung Jae, who plays the role of Ray, the butcher, um, is what he is. Like, he is a killer. Like, there's a, uh, there's a sequence of him very early on, kind of like with some shades on, him just sitting there good. But you know how, like, the bad guy, you know, they just, like, torture people and gut them and all this kind of stuff. And I was kind of like, oh, man, yeah, he... He's sick in the head. Like, he's bad. But then there's a situation that later on where he's kind of, like, cornered and double-crossed, right? And this is kind of a small spoiler, but it's really not. This is a non spoiler view as much as possible. And they try his whole life. And he decimates these people. And I was just, like, it was amazing. Like, because I didn't expect that. Um, because, I mean, one of the things they do very early on is they showcase to you um, what the main character is capable of. Um, that's uh, in Nam. That's, that's the that's the main character's name because he does a, a job. Like you find out what he does really early on, and he's just proficient at it, right? And um, I was kind of like, oh, okay, well, this is this is what this man does. I, he's he's gonna just decimate, you know, anybody in his pathway. No, like it is literally the movie to me, and so many different levels is that amazing trope that was uh, uh, spoken on in The Dark Knight. Uh, an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. That is these men to a T. But the thing about this film that's so crazy is that it very much so plays like a film that I really love. And that is The Man From Nowhere. The Man From Nowhere is one of my favorites. And this actor, I don't think he's done another you know, action scene ever um, since this film. And um, I was kind of like, that is what this feels like, but with a mix of the Ray and the Ray Redemption in terms of, you know, the amount of violence, that form is amount of like martial arts and hand-to-hand -hand combat and terrible, like it kind of, again, the man from nowhere, one of the biggest things about it is like this, this little girl, you know, she's taken and she's maneuvered around and you're trying to hopefully thinking that things are going to be better. And that's one of the things I love about that film and the movie with Paul Walker running scared is that you're always processing in the back of your head, as good as the main character is, these children are going through life and death circumstances that are out of his control throughout a whole bulk of the film. And so you're just hoping with beyond hope that, that they can be saved and they can be, you know, you know, personally like salvaged in some way, shape or form. But this film is unrelenting. I'm going I'm to tell you that. I mean, they they hold no punches. Like, when, when I say that there is death and there is, like, a lot of death and a lot of torture and a lot of terrible things that happen on a continuous basis, I mean it. Um, it, it is unrelenting. Um, and, again, the surrounding cast do their part as well. Like, every character that's in this film that comes up that interacts with either you know Ray or the main character, um, they play a big role, and I think that that's very hard to do. A lot of the times, it's kind of like you got like open characters you kind of talk to, but every character you feel that any time at any moment that's that's one of the hard things about a film that they can go that they can really just bite it. And I think one of the things that was interesting to me was this character right here, Yu Yu um, uh, Yo Yi. Um, to the left, um, who is a man that's cross-dressing as a woman. And, you know, the actor does such an amazing job becoming a likable, lovable character, but at the same time, having her own dirt, having her own problems and baggage and weight. And they spend enough time that 
the character doesn't become obnoxious. Matter of fact, they come essential to the story, which you wouldn't expect given how serious the circumstances are, how desperate the characters are. And one of the things I'll say about that character specifically is that Jung Ming, uh, Jung, Jung Ming Park is this actor right here who plays that character. And I was like, after doing some research, after the fact, I was like, yo, he is such a good actor because, dude, you you just have to see, see the movie and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But again, the action is on point. The levels of how vicious and raw is honestly unnatural to me because normally in these kind of films, it's either one way. Either one, you got like, you know, somebody just, just being hunted. And they're just trying to survive. Or two, you have somebody that's just such a good at what they do character, like uh, Liam Nielsen type, you know, you know, that there's not, nothing's really going to kind of come into path, right? Or like uh, John Wick kind of. But no, you got an amalgam of the two. And this movie said, you know what? Hold your popcorn. I'm going to show you what this really looks like. But I think that deeper than that, at its core, this movie doesn't absolve anybody of their sins, no matter if they give somebody a break, no matter if they're trying to save somebody or no matter if they're trying to hurt anybody. Everybody in this film, save for a few people, have dirt under their hands or have already been tainted by the dirt on somebody else's hand that they're connected to. And it's like this, the sins of these people do lay a foundation of bloodshed or light around the people that they're on. And I think that that's one of the things I found so fascinating is that in spite of all the dark and the and the, and the blood and the unnecessary things that are kind of happening throughout the entirety of the film, you never lose sight of the fact that there are levels of light. Uh, there's, there's needs of preservation. There's needs of helping somebody. Um, and desperation, whether it's desperation or whether it is something deeper than that. And I think that this film to me is one of the better films that I've seen because of that. And it's kind of like, it's, it's good on action. Um, it's good in intensity. The actors play their roles. They act the roles very well. Like there are some hurtful moments, man, hurtful. And there's some terrifying, like this moment right here was terrifying. And I think that it's all catered to the director, uh, Wong Chang Hung. And the actors, they 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 fully trust the director and the director really, truly trusts what the story is supposed to do and, you know, not leaving any kind of limitations. So regardless of how the movie ends, whether you <clears throat> are hurt by it, whether you're inspired by it, I think that its effectiveness stays exactly the same. I mean, that is hard to me. And again, I don't think I really processed what I was going to give this as a score. Um, but in hindsight, actually thinking about it, you know what? I don't really have any faults in this film. I mean, I, I think even though I would have loved certain circumstances to change or one thing that happened early on, I was like, wow. Um, at the end of the day, as a film, I think that it did its job in keeping me on my toes, keeping me entertained and also making me feel something. So I would rest this at a nine or a 9.5 out of 10. Um, I think that, you know, I would easily give it a 10, um, but I can't say why. I can't, I can't say that because I'd be a spoiler. But I'm arrested at a 9 or a 9.5 out of 10. I think this is an amazing film. Definitely go and check out Deliver Us From Evil. Again, if you've seen like movies like The Raid or um, Running Scared or The Man From Nowhere, this is right in your line of, uh, or right in the vein of, of that site. But do know there are some hurtful, messed up things that happen. So full disclaimer, there is gore, there is blood, there is maiming, there is there's a lot. And it's, it's really rough. It's really, really rough. So just take that with a grain of salt, but do know what you're getting into ahead of time. But do know that you're getting, I think, an excellent um, example of... Uh, of amazing media so definitely go and check it out um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below keep it locked jvs wing will stop peace guys